What is up, freaks? Today we're going to be doing some wholesaling. Sometimes you all want to refer to what we're going to be doing as virtual wholesaling. Some of you guys, some of you MFers out there are referring to it as remote wholesaling, right? However you want to slice it, what we are doing is wholesaling properties in neighborhoods that we do not live in, right? So I don't care if you're watching me from California, from Oregon, from Cleveland, from Texas, from Dallas. Dallas is in Texas. I freaking know that, people. What I'm doing is going to work nationwide. But guess what? I ain't your typical wholesale guru. Buy my jerk-off course. Buy my jerk-off book. I'm going to sell you a freaking song and dance of a bunch of crap that doesn't actually work so this ain't gonna be as sexy as you're used to folks because this is the real deal let's go this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent. that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today I am working with my man, Elliot. Elliot, we're going to wholesale some property, boy! Yeah! That's what we're doing, bro! We are wholesaling some real estate virtually, right? Remotely, as you can call it, right? Why is it virtual? Why is it remote? Well, it's half virtual. It's half remote. You see? The reason that is because you, you are in Portland, okay? You're in Portland, Oregon. And we need to find you super cheap houses because you have a very, very small budget, right? So we need to find really cheap houses. You can't wholesale incredibly cheap houses from Portland. Why? Because there ain't no really cheap houses in Portland. Now, I know a bunch of other people are like, Dad, I don't understand. You don't need any money to wholesale houses. Why does it matter? You do need money to wholesale houses, people. What you don't need money to do is connect a buyer and a seller together and collect a commission or wholesale fee. The issue with that is it's fucking illegal in all 50 fucking states, okay? It's called brokering real estate, and it requires a fucking real estate license. If you don't think connecting a buyer and a seller together in collecting a fee is brokering real estate, please, one of you motherfuckers out there, tell me what you think wholesaling is. Tell me what you think brokering is, okay? I know the other gurus teach you. That that is kosher. It's not, okay? So you do need money. That's what I'm saying. I am got a little heated, but you do need money, okay, if you want to do this legally. So you need money. You got to have some money. So you got to go where the properties are cheap. I'm here in the Cleveland market. Where are the cheapest properties there is? And I am going to help you do a wholesale deal, Elliot. It's only going to require... 5G's, dog, 5G's. That's why it's remote. That's why it's virtual. Let's jump into the numbers, how the deal's going to work, how me and you are going to knock it out together legally right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Wholesaling. We are wholesaling some houses. Remote wholesaling. Virtual wholesaling, right? It's virtual. It's remote on half of the deal. The other half being you because you don't have to be on the ground. But we are actually buying houses, people. We are actually going to close on these properties. Why? I cannot stress this enough. Because we are doing it legally. I do not give a shit what other fucking asshole, wholesale guru, wholesale course, wholesale jerk me off here, wholesale jerk me off there bullshit you've already heard or read. Okay? Here is the deal. If this is a buyer... And this is a seller. And you, motherfucker, are in the middle. And you connect this buyer with this seller to do a transaction. And then you collect a wholesale fee. That is a commission, right? A fee, a commission. Anything of monetary value, right? You never own the property. That is brokering real estate. 
Brokering real estate requires a license in all 50 states. I should know. I'm a real estate broker. I've also sold $200 million worth of real estate in the Cleveland area, right? If you haven't noticed, houses in Cleveland, they're fucking cheap, right? So imagine how many of these motherfuckers you got to put together to get to $200 million. So what that should tell you is I know a little thing or two about the business, folks. And I'm here to keep you fucking legal, okay? You don't want to go down the path of trying to illegally broker real estate. That's what all the other fucking jerk-off wholesale people are teaching you. It's bullshit. It's garbage. And guess what? They don't really care because they sell you the course, they sell you the book, they sell you the fluff-fluff idea that it's super easy, it's great, everybody can do it. We don't do that here. Here, we work with real deals to actually make them happen. We get through deals in a real way. So I cut it to you straight, right? And if you're working with a really small budget, you're going to be wholesaling houses like this, okay? That's the reality of the situation. If you haven't noticed, let me explain. You might have your thoughts on this. Let me confirm them. Yes, this house is a piece of fucking shit. This is a shit box. This is a horrible fucking property. It looks like shit, probably smells like shit. It's a piece of fucking shit, okay? But guess what, folks? If you're trying to get involved in wholesaling and you got five grand, you got 10 grand, you got 15 grand, you got 20 grand, essentially little to no money, you're going to be flipping shit boxes, okay? If you got some other fantasy that you can come into this with little to no money and you're flipping mansions, well, just fucking take whatever money you have that you are willing to pay for coaching. I want you to just, just pile it up, right? Pile it up. Put it put it down. No, don't even put it on a desk. I want you to put it on the floor. Then I want you to pull your dick out, and I want you to fucking piss all over it, okay? Because that is all that's going to do. It's just fucking waste. It's garbage. It's not going to happen. If you have a very small budget, this is what we're dealing with. It's not sexy. It's not beautiful. But guess what? It's reality, okay? Does it mean you can't make money? No, that's not what it means, okay? But this is the business, folks. This is what you're signing up for, right? So you take a shitbox house like this. Now, a shitbox house, it's a shitbox house, but that, that's not the end of the world, right? That's kind of what we need, right? The idea behind wholesaling is you find a seller with an incredibly distressed asset, you get in front of them, and then, right, you pick it up for very, very cheap, and then you down the road sell it to somebody for a higher price, okay? This is why this works in the real world, right? Because you're going to be partnering with me. Everybody tells you to just get in the middle and assign the deal. That's not going to work, okay? Again, it's illegal. Also, probably not going to work. You're not going to, like, know what you're doing, especially doing it remotely. You're not going to understand these, these areas, these markets. That's why 99.9% .9 of people who start wholesaling don't make any money. They give up, right? The ones that actually start making a little bit of money, eventually the division of real estate in their particular state, because, again, all 50 of them require a real estate license to broker real estate, they'll probably come down and lay the fucking smack down on them, right? I've seen people in Ohio get a, like, eight nine $900,000 fine for uh, – brokerage activity without a license, right? So you partner with me because what I can do, because you're actually putting up money to stay legal, I make sure you don't end up underwater. I know what we can sell this for. I know who is going to buy this. I know investors who will take on these products, right, these projects, right? Because, again, I've sold $200 million in this market, right? So the after-the-fact stuff, the marketing, I got that covered. The ARV, I got that covered. Coming up with the bid, I have all that covered. You don't have to worry about that. I work with you, right? What you need to do is just put out a ton of offers because anybody also telling you that you met, you see this one house, you make an offer, you get your wholesale money, and you move on, it's not how the business works. You have to do a ton, a ton of offers, okay? And right now, you're paying for me, right, to work with you because you need somebody to sell it later, number one. You need somebody to tell you what the actual ARV is, number two. You need somebody to tell you what the repairs are going to be, right? You need all that. You don't know that right now. Perhaps after working with me for 10, 20, 30 videos, you will gather those skills, and then you can go out on your own and find motivated sellers before they get listed, right? I have tools for you guys to do that as well, right? Right down here, PropStream, okay? This is essentially 
the MLS for every market in the USA, right? So if you want to do it remotely here in Cleveland, cool. If you're looking for other cheap markets, right? Detroit's a good one. Uh, Memphis, a lot of cheap shit in Memphis, right? You could work on that stuff and you can get the data and reach out to sellers directly via direct mail. You could actually do your direct mailing right through PropStream, right? Uh, but for now, if you need help on the back end, I'm here to work with you so we make sure you don't get underwater. But again, if down the road or if you're watching and you're like, dude, I already know what the ARV is. I don't need to pay this guy to analyze the property. I'll analyze it myself. I just need to get in front of the sellers. How do I get in front of the sellers? You get in front of the sellers with PropStream, folks. Works in Cleveland, works in Detroit, works nationwide. Oh, and guess what? Your boy Jay Wise, I'm going to hook you up under the show, right? The show, you're probably watching it on the YouTube or probably on your iPhone. I hope you're wearing pants. If you're not, that's cool. You're in your boxers. You got fucking Cheeto dust on your goddamn beard. Fucking wipe that Cheeto dust off your fucking beard. Fucking wipe your hand on your shirt. Scroll under the video there. Click it. Got a free trial for you, folks. Free trial for PropStream. You get all that data. Then after that, you get a discount because you're a Holton Wise TV viewer, right? But if that ain't you, if you ain't there yet, you're working with me, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you walk through this deal. But you have to understand this. There's not a 100% guarantee we're going to do this deal. Not a 50% guarantee, right? It is a long shot because we have to get such a cheap price, right? This property has been on the market for 118 days. The address, 10561 Remington Avenue, Cleveland, 44108. As far as neighborhoods go, this is a very distressed neighborhood, right? This is the ghetto. This is the hood. Properties get torn down. Crime, like... This is a shitbox. Well, guess what? A lot of the other houses in the area are also shitboxes. It's important to accept that, identify that, and know that because knowing that is going to keep you from getting greedy and being like, oh, dude, 20K? I could definitely make money in 20K because I look at other duplexes in Cleveland. They sell for 100. I'm going to make a $50,000 wholesale fee. No, motherfucker, you won't because they don't fucking sell for 100 grand in this particular fucking neighborhood. That's why you need me right now because I make sure you understand what your realistic exit price is. Our exit price is 15, okay? Our exit price is 15. So if we're exiting at 15 and you got to pay me because I don't work for fucking free, that means sure shit, you can't buy it for 20. You definitely can't buy it for 15. What can you buy it for? You can buy this for four. Okay, and that's why it's going to be a long shot. Four grand is the most you can pay for this. Okay, here's the numbers. You pay four, then you're going to pay your closing costs. That's about a grand. You're all in for five. Then I will sell it for 15. Then, of course, you're going to pay me. I'm taking 4,995. Then you got to pay the title company on the close as well. So that's another grand. That will net you a $4,000 profit. That's all you got to do. You got to get the offer accepted at four. I will help you do that. I'm not going to guarantee you that it will be accepted, right? Why? Because the seller currently wants 20, but here's the deal. Here's why this makes sense. This is why this is an avenue to go down. This is a highly distressed ship box. This property is making the seller absolutely no money. I went through the photos. It's horrible. It's terrible, right? Like, look at this thing. It is nothing but a liability for the seller, right? It is just a horrible ship box, right? Some people might be like, no. Oh, all the other guys made wholesaling sound so cool. This guy is just a jerk. He's just making fun of the properties. Guys, you want it to be distressed. If it wasn't distressed, people wouldn't get rid of it, right? People wouldn't get rid of it for less than its fair market value, okay? They would want the most money. But this is just something that's horrible they don't want. Now, I've been watching this for a while because it's been on the market a long time. Here's the thing with sellers. They will put properties on the market because they think it's worth one thing. And... <clears throat> they won't believe it's not until time tells them. So 118 days on the market, everyone else is telling the seller, bro, your price is too high, nobody's going to want it. But they've kept the price inflated, okay? They shouldn't have done that. As a matter of fact, it used to be listed at 30 like three days ago. They just dropped it down to 20, so now we're getting into reasonable land. So more buyers are going to be paying attention to it. So that is why we need to scoop in, try to pick it up, right? Because if they would price it appropriately, more people are going to be looking at it. The longer they have it out there priced too high, they start to feel like, oh, man, maybe nobody's going to buy it. And then they start thinking about all the negatives. They're like, oh, dude, it's boarded up. It's in the ghetto. There's trash everywhere. I'm probably going to get city violations. Who's going to buy this? This is just a bad property. They're tearing down properties all over this neighborhood. Maybe they'll tear my down. Maybe no one will ever buy it, right? That panic starts to set in when they're 118 days on the market. So that's why we come in, quick cash offer, no questions asked. We're not going to be like, yo, let me inspect it. You don't need to inspect it. Any and everything is fucked up, okay? 
accept that. You're buying a fucking shit box if they take your offer at four. But here's the thing. You're working with me. Nobody sells more properties like this in Cleveland than I do. There are a lot of people that would look at that at 15 and think it's a good deal. Wouldn't work for a lot of people. And I try to explain that to out-of-state investors. Like if you're a new out-of-state investor and you're watching the show, like, dude, wait, I'll just buy it for 15 right now. It's not a good deal for an out-of-state investor. To pay somebody to like full force the actual construction company, property managers to work on your behalf, it's not going to pan out for you. It's not going to pencil out. There ain't enough meat on the bone. If you don't believe me, watch my other shows on the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I explain that to you guys. What you need to understand is the only type of buyer that this could really work for is going to be uh, – is going to be um, like a local buyer who's got sweat equity, somebody who can go in and do the renovation themselves. They don't have to pay because they could do it on their own. Maybe they're a contractor and they're keeping their crew busy, things like that, right? That sweat equity savings, the DIYers, those are the kind of people that actually make money on this, the kind of people that don't have to pay PM, the kind of people that being a PM is their full-time job. They live in and around the neighborhood, could drive around it like a friggin' hawk. Those are the people that are going to make money. And guess what? I'm connected with a ton of those people, and I've sold many, many properties just like this, and I can almost guarantee you I can get you 15 for this one. So the whole cusp of it is got to throw out our best, most aggressive cash offer, 4K, but we can't get greedy. You don't want to buy it for 7 you don't want to buy it for eight. You don't want to buy it for six. You want to buy it for four. And if the seller says no, we move on because wholesaling is a numbers game. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.